Hey buddy, Justin Wooly chiming in. So I've got that UN webpage pulled up on screen there for just a second. Just to remind you guys that we do have international boards of authoritarian bureaucrats racking their brains on how they're going to try and disarm you. So don't think that fight we fought a couple months back to secure gun rights is over. UN Disarmament Commission. Conference on Disarmament. Disarmament Fellowship Program. Oh wow, they have a whole legion of unelected bureaucrats to try and take away the backbone of our Bill of Rights. The good news is, is I have done my homework and I'm about to give you guys a look into the future of what gun control attempts look like. So you'll be ready to approach this and we'll also have this powerful video on the books to combat it. Because I'm going to go ahead and destroy this stuff before it ever really takes off on the market. Smart guns. Oh yes, this is the new form of gun control. I've got proof on that, but first up, here's how they're trying to sell you on it. It's all about intended user accessibility. Now, there are two types of Orwellian technology to choose from when it comes to these Stasi guns. First up is a fingerprint sensor very similar to the ones on the new iPhones, which got hacked in record time. Yeah, oops. Second one is a proximity sensing watch where you would have to have the watch and the firearm in very close proximity to fire the weapon. My question is, is how easy is it to duplicate the frequency coming off that watch? Also, those are batteries and sensitive electronics you gotta worry about. And when it comes to having to save your life, that's the last thing you want is an error screen to come up on your firearm. And you just know they're going to put a kill switch in these things, so neither your fingerprint or that watch can activate it, and you're left with a useless gun. Even if they're not smart enough to do that, you know they're going to hit you with an EM pulse later down the road, leave you defenseless for the DHS invasion. Speaking of the DHS invasion, check out this schematic I found online. Oh yeah, it's outlining how they're going to track your firearms with an RFID type chip. Check that out. The Yardarm sensor. <laughs> what an Orwellian sounding name. And that's going to send a signal up into the Yardarm cloud server. And then they can track you with an iPhone, a laptop, a desktop, or one of those little handheld GPSs. So yeah, when DHS rolls up, they'll just know exactly where your gun is and they'll have already hit the kill switch so you can't defend yourself. And this is the kind of technology they're trying to push into the market and there's a whole bunch of companies scrambling to get on board and you will start seeing legislation and argument on how this is the absolute way of the future and if you don't go along with it you're officially a domestic terrorist. Alright, well I think I have proved my point. Uh, yeah, smart guns? Well, about the dumbest thing you could ever attempt to purchase. This is Justin Wu Lee signing out. Also, this is an open source video. Please upload it to your channel if you so wish and share it with your friends.